Hello, this is Jamie Magridge. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. So let's get started. Okay, I'm using the Autumn Goodness stamp set. I'm going to be using this stamp, this stamp, and this stamp, and this stamp. Okay. I'm going to be using colored pencils today, along with Wink of Stella. <clears throat> I have uh, a little over 20 inches of this um, braided linen trim. I'll put it in there so I know where it is. I have two pieces of the brushed metallic paper. One is one half inch by five and a quarter and one is one inch by five and a quarter and I've run them through this embossing folder. I think you can see it there. Which is part of a set which is green, the greenery embossing folders. There's two folders in the set. I have a two and three quarters by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White a four and one eighth by five and three eighths piece of Whisper White and a uh, five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter of early espresso. Okay, so let's start this piece here. The two and three quarters by five and a quarter inch piece. And the only ink we're going to be using is Early Espresso. So open that Early Espresso ink pad up. Let's move these out of the way so I don't soil them. I'm going to bring in this stamp with those pumpkins on it. Just tap it on there a few times. I'm going to stamp this down here at the bottom. I've got maybe an inch above it. Good and inked. Set it down. Just kind of push on top lightly. Ah, oh, that didn't come out so great. Let's try that again. I was afraid of that. Come on. Come out good for me, please. much better. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in the sentiment thankful. Same ink. I'm going to stamp one up here above it. Take your time. So get a good even stamping. I, th I tend to turn the block or tilt the block so I don't always get a good stamping with my sentiments. I'm going to stamp one down here. Don't move it. Okay, and one underneath. Okay, perfect. All right, um, let's bring this one in. Do all the stamping at once. And the four and one eighth by five and three eighths inch piece. And I need a scratch paper. Need a scratch paper. All right, and we're going to bring in this wheat. Trying to make everything fit here. It's not fitting. So I'm going to ink that up. The same Early Espresso ink. Then I'm going to stamp it off once onto my scratch paper. Make sure I got it inked well. Okay, then I'm going to come right into the center of this one. I'm going to stamp it. Perfect. 
Okay, then I'm going to take that same thankful, ink it up full strength, right over the cross, what we already stamped. And then for you, it's a little tiny one here, ink that up full strength, and stamp that underneath. Perfect. Okay, so that's the inside. We might as well go ahead and attach that to the inside of our card. We're done with the ink. And I'm going to use my multi purpose liquid glue. I just find it easier to use. Gives me that wiggle room. I tend to need to get it straight. A hard time getting it straight with the tape. And this is just a um, sixteenth of an inch larger than. Oh, I just got ink on it. A uh, sixteenth of an inch larger than the. Um, smaller than the space. Let's see if we can get that erased before it soaks in. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's still a little bit there, but not bad. on me. That's the sad part. Alright, set this aside. Let's bring in this piece and our colored pencils and our wink of Stella. We're going to color these in. I'm going to start with the orange for the pumpkin. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more and stay in frame. I just got to remember to pull back out again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this colored pencil and I'm going to color where all those lines are in the picture that the illustrator put in there for us. This is uh, pumpkin pie. Okay, then I'm going to come in with my wink of Stella. And I'm going to move that ink around to fill in that space. The wink of Stella is going to pick up a little bit of that so you get different shades. And it helps to eliminate those pencil lines that you don't necessarily like. Okay. And I'm going to come in and do this one here. Same way. This one I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to because I want it to be a little bit of a different shade. So I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow. I'm going to come in with the uh, Wink of Stella. Start in the orange since I was already in orange. Okay. Now if you want to um, add more color. You can do that. I'm going to add a tiny bit of, let's see what color is this one. I'm going to add a little bit of real red to this pumpkin. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of it. The color on top of what you already did. You 
can go back in with the wink if you want to. Move that around a little bit. Let's just play with it. The Wink of Stella just kind of activates the watercolor in it, but it doesn't. Um, this is just plain paper, uh, the plain Whisper White. It doesn't warp or mess the paper up, which is why. I, and then it has that shimmer, or that glitter, which is always fun. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and color this little one here with the orange. And then these ones I'm going to do red for apples. I might bring in some cherry cobbler to make them even redder. This one I think is a pumpkin. So literally I'm just scribbling in a little bit of color where those lines are. Let's add a little bit of the cherry cobbler. Let's add a little bit richer of a yellow, I mean color. I'm going to do yellow on this one. And over here is an apple, so let's do red on this one. Red on this one. And I'm going to do orange on these. Come in with Cajun Craze and do these stems with the Cajun Craze. Stems of the corn. And then we'll use the yellow on the corn. It's Daffodil Delight. Craze on the stock and on this basket. And then let's pick a green. Uh, let's use old olive. And then I'm going to come in with the Castella and blend out those colors. I like this better even than Gamsol. Find it easier to use. Oops, I messed up. Leave. And if you mix the color, it's not going to really matter much. Almost done. If you wipe off the tip in between colors, you won't have color transfer, but it really doesn't matter a whole lot. And then I'm going to come in with Bermuda Bay. I'm just underneath the whole thing. I'm just going to put a little uh, Bermuda Bay. I'm still in frame, aren't I? I hope. Yeah, I did over this one. Okay, then I'll again come in with the Wink of Stella. Pull that color. 
color out a little bit. Well, this probably wouldn't work if you wanted to do a guy project that you don't want the glitter on, but I think it works really well. There you go. Okay, let me zoom back out and we will uh, put this project together. Make sure I'm going the right way here. Uh, too far, that's good. I'll leave it there. Alright, so now we are going to bring in our card base and our two pieces of the uh, foil that we've already, or metallic paper that we've already embossed. We're going to take one of them, the wider of the two, oh, that's one inch adhesive on the back of it and decide which way you want your things to be it doesn't really matter as long as you do them the same we're going to put it here so that there's an equal distance between the sides and the top and the bottom try to make it straight and one helpful tip is make sure you try to get these straight in the embossing folder You'll notice this one wasn't. It makes it look cattywampus a little bit. Uh, but it's not. Just because the embossing folder wasn't straight. Alright, and then this other piece. Put a little glue on the back. This one's going to get lined up on this side. Same, make sure this edge this is pretty similar. Okay, then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this one. Okay, come in. Take a pick. Let's see if I can do this. Pick it, pick it, pick it up. Poke it, pick it up. Poke it, pick it up. Poke it, pick it up. Okay, finally learned how to do it. Just poke it, pick it up. Poke it, pick it up. I was making it too complicated. There we go. Alright, turn this over. Line it up so the top and bottom matches with the foil. And that it's covering those edges and that it's straight up and down if as possible. If you need to add a little wet glue on the back of those dimensionals, by all means that helps. Now we're going to take that 20, uh, it's like 21 inches I think, of the um, braided linen. And you want to make sure it's not twisted on the inside, that's helpful. I'm going to tie it in a bow. I might have been able to use a little bit less, but I find it easier with this to use more because it's hard to manage if you get it too uh, short. Alright, fluff that up. Trim off the tails if you need to and I push it right up against where this seam is. You need to bring in a glue dot to hold it down. Good scissors and snip this edge. 
So that's all I wasted, about an inch. So 20 inches would probably be sufficient. Okay, let's put a glue dot just to hold it where we want it. There we go. There's the card we made together. Here's the one I did previously. And I'd like to thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper. Now if you see anything you would like uh, that you need, these are all Stampin' Up! products. Um, you can go to my website at uh, jamiemagridge.stampinup.net and you can purchase them there. Well, thank you. Have a great rest of your day.